Hey, this is Linda from homeschooling6.com and today I wanted to share with you something that I really, really wish I would have bought years ago. I had found it when the kids were younger and just did not buy it and now I wish I would have and it would have been great to have been using all these years. So it's Math Problems and Solutions. This is the guide. This is a companion guide to understanding mathematics from counting to calculus and this is the understanding mathematics from counting to calculus. So these you want to get both. If you actually go to the website, and I'll find the website and link that below, you can buy these uh, in PDF format. But as you can see, they're pretty thick. I got this one at Rainbow Resource, and I think it was, oh, here it is, $24.95. And here's the solutions guide and math problems in this one. And this too was $24.95. If you buy $50 at Rainbow Resources, um, you get free shipping, so that always helps. So it's one book for all 12 years, which is pretty amazing. It's from Counting with Numbers, and it goes up from Addition, Subtraction, and so forth to Calculus. Now let me just move this one out of the way. Right here's the table of contents. Part one is elementary mathematics. You have numbers, addition, subtraction, and so forth. And there's pre algebra. Part two is intermediate mathematics. And then part three is advanced mathematics. Why anyone needs this math book, what this book provides. And it shows the layout of the text. Where it says it says who or it says who would benefit from this book. This book would be especially helpful as a supplemental guide for parents who are homeschooling their children. However, it does not matter if you are a motivated grade school student, a curious high school student, a struggling non-technical graduate student, a working professional, or a parent attempting to help his child with mathematics, all would greatly benefit from this text. Why buy one book that contains 12 years of mathematics? So I think this is just really great. It's all in black and white. Right here is the definition of a number. And right here it's two, 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 three. So it kind of breaks it down like that. And here's examples of numbers. And it goes on with two, four, two, five decimals, examples. And then at the end of each concept that they're learning. It shows a summary and then um, like you should be able to. And here's important definitions. And this one says types of numbers. So at the end of the chapter, let's see if I can find the ending on this one. Again, this is the ending. It says math laws, important definitions, and you should be able to with a summary. And then here's the next lesson. It gives examples and so forth. And then when it ends, I guess I should have tabbed this before starting this video, but at the end it shows again. And it goes on like that. Throughout the book. So. This one, solving a system of equations. Word problems. Geometry, 
Let me find the end of the geometry. So again, the summary, important definitions, and you should know. And then here's the math problem solutions guide. Introduction, numbers edition. So here are those like 2.1 and so forth. This one has, this one has a hyphen though, but I'll put them side by side so we can get an idea. So 2.1, the definition of a number, the definition of a number, numbers are universal, 2.2, two, numbers are universal, and so forth. There's decimals. So they would need a composition book or another notebook. Finding geometry using algebra. Introducing calculus. That's word problems. So there you go, a peek inside these two books. And again, I really wish I would have bought these years ago. Thank you for watching and have a great day.